Greetings and salutations, this is Sudaku with State of Machinations, and today I'm here to talk to you about a new series that's going to be coming out later this year. You may have heard of it. It's called Titans. Listen, I get that I'm a little late to the party when it comes to talking about this. I really wanted to make sure that I had my head on straight and wasn't overthinking the whole issue. That said, I'm going to keep this brief, not just because I want my first video back to be succinct, but also because I know how touchy people can be when it comes to the representation of black people in movies and television. That said, the things I'm saying aren't exactly controversial. If you've come to this video looking for a hit piece on Anna Diop, 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 eh, regardless, if you've come to this video looking for a hit piece on Anna Diop, or some scathing critique of black actors in Hollywood, then you should go scratch at someone else's door for that. That ain't what this video is about, and if that's what you're looking for, then you are going to be sorely disappointed. When I heard that Greg Berlanti was going to be working on a show for the Titans IP, I was ecstatic. Berlanti's done some justice to some of the other properties that I like. I'm particularly fond of his version of The Flash. When the first promotional image of Dick Grayson dropped, I was even happier. It looked like someone was gonna do my boys and girls in the Titans some justice after being doomed to obscure, if actually really good, movie adaptations of decades old plot lines. At that point, I told myself, I didn't care what universe this was set in. Whether it was Berlanti's Arrowverse, the DC Extended Universe, or its own independent product, I was going to be happy. When it was announced that a black girl was going to be playing Starfire, my initial reaction was... apathy. What's all the fuss, I said. It's not like Starfire's ever actually white in the comics anyway. Really more orange than anything else. They'll just have to use some special effects to alter the skin tone and the hair, maybe. Why should anyone care as long as the actress playing her can fulfill the role? You know, I really, really hope that this screenshot is out of context. If this turns out to be some kind of scene where Starfire is trying out human styles in an attempt to fit in, and that's not actually her hair and normal outfit, then I will totally eat the words that I'm about to say. But, to channel Stevie Wolf, What I find absolutely insane about this is the other members of the cast of the Teen Titans that we've seen so far have pretty damn good costuming jobs. They look like who they're supposed to be. But the black character gets this ridiculous wig, this hooker fucking fur coat, and this PVC vinyl dress that a hooker would fucking wear. Why? Well, I'll tell you why. Because people are willing to settle for second best, and a lot of the people that fund these TV shows know that shit. A lot of the people that come up with this kind of bullshit are not black people. They're a bunch of racist caricaturing assholes who know that as long as the character's actress happens to be black, people are going to be okay with it. Well, you shouldn't be okay with this shit. They're making you defend absolute stupidity. How the fuck much money did you pay this actress to be okay with putting on this ridiculous outfit? Uh, yeah, pretty much that. Okay, no, I actually do have some stuff to add to this. Um, see, if this screenshot isn't out of context, then it's remarkably insulting to both her character and the actress playing her. Here, let me try to explain what I mean with a couple of visual aids. See this? This is a fan-made Photoshop of what Anna Diop's Starfire should look like. I mean, look at this! Look! Here. For emphasis, let me show you a couple more pictures of her that haven't been photoshopped. She is perfect for this role. The hair, the face, that smile. So why in the world does she look like this on set? She should look like this, not this. This. They would barely even need to put any makeup on her. 
some makeup to alter the skin tone to be a little more orange, some red dye in her hair, and a nifty little effect from Adobe around her eyes, and she'd be the live-action Starfire that people have been clamoring for for years. To me, this only reinforces the point about racism that Stevie brought up in his video. This isn't Anna Diop making these costuming decisions. It's Laura Jean Shannon and, to an extent, Greg Berlanti, Akiva Goldman, and Jeff Johns. This isn't some outspoken cry by people of color around the country. It's three white men and a white woman trying to appeal to the social justice crowd by casting a black woman who was already perfect for the role and then perverting her into a twisted version of the character that they think will suit the fancy of the thoughtless troglodytes who eat that kind of shit right up because representation. As I said before, black representation in Hollywood is important. I'm not here to deny that, nor am I here to deride Anna Diop as an actress. From what I understand, she did very well in 24 Legacy, though I didn't even watch the original 24, let alone a spin-off, so maybe I'm not the best judge of that? She's been acting for quite a long time, and I really, really hope this turns into a big break for her, because her IMDB is filled mostly with side roles, not main characters like Starfire. But this character, portrayed in this way? Anna Diop deserves better. You want black representation? Give your actress a chance to do the character justice. Hey guys, thanks for listening and I hope you found the video thought-provoking. I know it's a little bit short, but it's my first video back. I'm really testing the waters with this kind of thing. And I'm hoping that I can get some things to come together to really make this channel start to grow and, and change into what I want it to be with the help of, um, I'm hoping to bring on a couple other people, uh, soon-ish, but don't hold me to that, nothing's set in stone. Um, anyhow, uh, I'm still trying to think of what sort of kinds of things I want for reward tiers on this channel, but if enough people are interested, then I'll definitely set some monthly goals that will allow me to switch over to doing this as an actual job. But, well, let's, yeah, just, just like with this Titan show, let's just say I'm not holding my breath. And just try to remember, whether you're a social justice starfire or an alt-right robin, you're all just cogs in the machine. Kill or be killed.